Hello everyone and welcome to this review video of SCAR-DV 3.27. I've just released this build and I'm going to uh, run through the changes that were made. So I've just um, installed it here. And the first thing, if you've uh, also if you've used SCAR before, you'll see is the select working directory window as uh, changes to the settings manager have made it that a few settings including this one have been reset so you know just select your working directory you had set previously and select that now the second thing has been reset is the form position so that's not really that important aside from that there should be no settings that have been lost so that's the first change you'll notice now aside from that there's the um the scar 327 up directive which is uh pretty obvious since it's added for every version specifically uh most of the changes uh in this build are actually behind the scenes changes um mostly improvements to make scar even more stable than before the next change i'd like to uh, bring up is the um the addition of the split tpa functions you can see them here so well one of each here is from a plugin, but uh, these two are the ones in SCAR. So they were originally named uh, TPA Chain and TPA Chain X, and they've now also been aliased to Split TPA and Split TPA X, which is the preferred name to use in your scripts. Another change is the addition of two types, the T int array type, which is basically an alias for T integer array. It's just a bit shorter. And the T2D box array. Next to those is the new hotkey for pig bitmap. It's, then, uh, it's set by default to control alt B. You press Control B, the uh, bitmap selector shows up, and finally there's the find delimiter, find delimiter X, and last delimiter functions. Now I'm going to give an example of what these actually do. So I'm going to um, make some constants here. Basically, what these functions do is they require a, um, a set of characters specified by a string, and they will return the position of those characters in the string. So let's put up a string here, call it hello, well, fill it with hello world. Okay, so. If I write out the find delimiter result, so the first is the delimiter string, delimiters, and second one is the string itself. Now, if we run this, it will search for the five characters we've specified as delimiters in the string we've specified and the first one it will find is the e which is the second character so our output should be e now there's also a find delimiter x function which allows you to uh, same as with uh, pos x or last pos x allows you to specify an offset from where to start so if we put three in there it doesn't start at two and the next one it should find is the d at the end of world so that should be the 
think, 11th character. Yes, so it prints out 11 there. If we change this to 2, it will print out the E, so number 2. And finally, there's the last limiter function. This will basically return the last in the position of the last instance, but the limiter it finds. So it basically does the same thing as find the limiter, but it starts at the ending of the string and works its way forward. So this also prints out 11, since the D is the first character it will find. If I put in another one, for example, another E. For last limiter, E is found. Third, uh, 11 is returned by find limiter X here, because it still finds the D. So that's basically it for these functions. There's no last limiter x function at this time, but it may be added in the future. Uh, the final two things that have been added is the, uh, the, the deprecated keyword for functions. So if I specify a function and use it regularly. Well, nothing happens, obviously. If I add the deprecated keyword, a message, a compiler warning will appear. The symbol lol is deprecated. So this basically means that you want the user to use another function because this one is outdated or no longer supported. You can also add a message to this by putting a string after deprecated. like this. If you run it now, the message includes the string. And as you may have noticed already, the final change is the addition of the icons for the bottom tabs here. The message icon, as also seen with the deprecate keyword, will well, the, uh, the icon of the light bulb will light up if a message is available. This uh, makes it easier to, um, to spot messages. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. And, um, well, I will see you in the next tutorial, probably.